Hello everyone, welcome back to Beauty Meets DIY. I hope everybody is having a good weekend so far. Today I have two very, very easy DIY for you guys. These are my inspiration pictures. As you can see, they're using some octagon mirrors. I've seen others use square mirrors. I've seen them mix it together, octagon, square, round. Today I'm just using round mirrors because this is what I had on hand, but if you mix it up, I think it would look even better. So from the Dollar Tree, what you're going to need for this DIY, uh, well, first of all, you're going to need a big mirror like the one I have here. I got this at AC Moore Craft Store. You can get it at Michael's too. Always use a coupon. This is 12 inch. I'm also going to need, uh, or you're also going to need, um, I'm using two round mirrors from the Dollar Tree. Uh, we're only going to use the middle part of the mirror. I'm not going to use the frame. And you're also going to need these plant hangers. Uh, you can use as many or as little as you want depending on how many you want to use. So let's get right into it guys. So as you can see in the background there, I'm using a chopstick to assist me to keep my uh, plant hanger in place. And as you can see here, um, this um, has a little pouch obviously and inside there is where you would put your potted plants. So what I've done is that I have divided it into four little parts as you see here. So it's divided in four, now I'm going to break it up in two parts. I'm going to put those two together and slip my mirror through there and I'm going to do the same on the other side as well. So after you do this, what you want to do is turn your mirror around and you want to secure it with hot glue. You can apply as many uh, glue or another type of strong glue all around for just to you know secure it more in place and then I follow up with placing some uh, tape to hold it in place while it dries and now I've turned it around again and here I'm just you know playing around with the bottom, not sure what I'm going to do, um, you know just, I don't know. <laughs> Basically what I did was that I just ended up gathering everything together and I created another knot. And I'm gonna flip it around again and I'm going to do the same thing like I did above. I'm gonna apply some glue there and I'm going to apply some tape as well. So now we're gonna put this uh, big mirror to the side and we're gonna work on our smaller mirrors. And here I have the Dollar Tree mirror. I'm just kind of placing it again. Uh, to see how I want and I guess this is kind of like the look that I want to go for so I'm going to turn it around again and I'm going to apply some glue and some tape as well. Because obviously you don't once you hang this up on the wall you don't want your mirror to slip out. Now I turned it around right side up and see those little corners there they're a little loose so I'm just going to apply some glue so that it is um, glued together snug and the mirror fits snugly in there. So here I decided that I'm going to unravel my knot uh, just to make it easier for me to you know reposition it to how I want you guys again you can do whatever you like position this st these strands however you want you can even untie all the knots and then retie them however you want to but again I'm gonna keep it simple I'm gonna gather everything uh, you know together and just create a nice knot but this time my knot is gonna be a little higher so that it fits a little more snug And this is the end result, what it looks like. I love the way this turned out. Um, I don't know what to call this style. I want to say it's kind of like a boho chic um, type of style, I want to say. And so what I did was that I found these mirrored feathered stickers that they have at the Dollar Tree and I applied it and I think that it went really well together. If you get these mirrored stickers at Dollar Tree, don't forget to remove, they have a very light film on top of it that you have to remove to reveal the actual mirror. So moving on to our next DIY, you're going to need these butterfly nets. I'm going to use a total of three. You're going to need this hacksaw and then some twine. This twine is at Dollar Tree, they come three in a pack.
So this is very easy to remove. Just with a scissor, it comes apart very easily. So what I'm doing here is that I'm spacing everything out just to kind of see where I want everything, how high, how low. I want a little ledge to be sticking out on the side there like you see there. And I'm just gonna use some tape. You wanna use some tape because it, when you use the hacksaw, this is gonna prevent for your, um, from your wood to chip. So once you apply your tape, you wanna mark it where you wanna cut, and then you're gonna cut right over the tape. And this is very easy to use this hack. It, it's not really hard to cut through this bamboo wood. I didn't really have a hard time doing this at all. And as I'm cutting it, I'm kind of turning the bamboo as well. So here I'm just gonna make my two pieces even. As you can see, one piece turned out longer than the other ones. I'm just gonna cut it off, the excess. And here I'm just positioning where exactly I want my little bamboo sticks to uh, you know, lay so that we can create our ladder. And I'm just applying some hot glue just to help keep it in place while I apply my twine. Guys, if you're enjoying this video so far, please give me a thumbs up. I really, really appreciate it. I would like to know what you guys think about these so far. Like I said, they're very easy DIYs to create. You can create as many or as little of these as you want. You can stack them up, have them in several rooms. Um, but yeah, just give me a thumbs up. I appreciate it. If this is your first time visiting my channel, I love to have you. I, would love for you to consider subscribing and of course to my subscribers I appreciate every single one of you and I appreciate all your support and you watching always and commenting down below and all of this kind of helps YouTube to see um, just to notice me a little more and just to get the interaction going I always want to hear what you guys think about everything so here I'm just cutting off the excess twine and I'm going to do the rest in all the corners as you can see this is one example of how I, you can display it. Here you can, uh, um, you know, you can uh, display your jewelry, um, some scarves. You can even loop some rings through the top of the ladder. I think it has a very zen spot, a spa-like feel, if you will. I can see this in the bathroom. Here I'm showing you, you can have this in your kitchen in a little nook um, by your coffee station pretty much anywhere guys and you can and you can create multiple of them you can give them as gifts you know just like this and I think it's really really cute and I really do hope that you enjoyed this video these very two easy DIY let me know which one you will recreate or if you like both of them and you're thinking of recreating both what would you do differently um, I'm always open to suggestions and you know little tips here and there um, I think that's the great thing about YouTube that we can ex uh, interchange thoughts and advice and tips. So yeah, I really do hope that you guys enjoyed this once again. And as always, I will see you very soon on my next video. Enjoy the rest of your weekend guys and see you soon. Bye. Thanks for watching.